you want? Greetings, peasant. It is I. Who? Page. Oh, well, I don't have the bugle, so I... Well, just... <laughs> Good King Wenceslas. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm the Pope. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, I am. Observe my rich ermine robes, my kingly bearing, my ruddy crown. <laughs> my God, you are. You're King Wenceslas. Good King Wenceslas, yes. What? People call me Good King. It's a sort of nickname I've got. I've never heard it. I've heard people call you... Anyway, His Majesty, uh, His Majesty brings you rich gifts. <gasps> Behold, pine logs, flesh and wine! Ta-da! Oh, right. And what, you're, you're doing this for all your subjects? No. Just this village? Just you. That's weird. <laughs> his Majesty observed you from the palace balcony as you were gathering winter fuel. Right. And he decided to follow you home and make you dinner. Look, I'm very flattered, Your Majesty, but actually I'm married. Oh, no! No! no, no. <laughs> the, uh, the page isn't explaining it properly. No, I, I just happened to see you after the feast of Stephen and, well, you know that sort of warm, soppy feeling you get after a big meal and a bit too much wine? No, not at all. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, I was in that mood and I asked my page who you were and, anyway, long carol short, I bring you rich gifts. Like, um, pine logs. Yes, you don't seem very pleased. What did you say I was doing when you saw me? Uh, gathering winter fuel. Exactly, which I've now gathered. <laughs> I mean, if you brought me pine logs this morning, you'd have saved me a job, but now... But you're a peasant, you need all the fuel you can get. <laughs> I'm a peasant, yeah, I'm a peasant with a wood-burning stove who lives in a forest. <laughs> There's one thing I'm basically fine for, it's fuel. Well, I bet you're not fine for this. Flesh! What? A whole haunch of ham? Yes. And you bring it to me on St Stephen's Day? Yes. The day after Christmas. Yes, so? Uh, I did try to explain to you, sire, the peasants tend to raise a pig. One pig? Over the course of the year. The whole year? And then they slaughter it. On Christmas Day! So? So, after 51 weeks of living on beetroot, this is the one week in the whole year we've more flesh than we know what to do with. And today, you bring me flesh. Today! Look, I think you're being jolly ungrateful. I am the king, after all, and I carried all this stuff over to well, you. Well, technically, I carried it. You're my page, it's the same what, thing. What, you made Christoph here carry it all. Oh, I don't mind. What, in this weather? In just his jerkin? It's all part of the job. With his heart condition? Oh, well. You didn't tell me you had a heart condition? Well, I did, actually. You didn't? No, I did. I said, sire, the night is darker now and the wind blows stronger. Yes, but you didn't. Fails my heart, I know not how, I can go no longer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I said it in rhyme because you tend to pay more attention to things that rhyme. <laughs> and what did he say? Oh, well, he was very kind. What did he say? <clears throat> he, uh, he allowed me to walk in his royal footsteps. His footsteps? Yes. Not in his ermine cloak? Uh, no, but it definitely helped, you know, the footsteps. In. You're a monster! I'm not! I'm good King Wenceslas! No one calls you that! <laughs> Here, take your pine logs, take your flesh, take your... Actually, we'll keep the wine, and get out! Um, Paige, do you think this will affect the carol? Um, well, I'll tell you what, I'll end it before we get to the hut. Oh, right. Yeah, so it'll just be about how you had a really good idea and then bravely went for a walk in the snow and then we'll just sort of imply it all worked out fine. Great. <laughs> good King Wenceslas went in feeling pretty silly It doesn't always help to throw your gifts out willy-nilly Charitable giving is a wondrous thing to do but if you really want to help, make sure you think it through.